Hey, today we're gonna look at everything regarding texture mods, so where can you find them, how do you use them and how do you create your own? Use the timestamps if you wanna jump to anything specific, let's jump into it. So where to find? I haven't really found a place where a lot of texture mods are gathered, but some are on this post by Ibo, shout out to him. Uh, all links in the description by the way if you wanna go to this post and he has for example uh, linked some texture mods that look like this where only the curbs color is changed and I've downloaded one of them and after downloading you will put them into documents trackmania 2020 skins stadium mod and do not unzip it if you do not have the mod folder just create it after that Okay, you can only use uh, texture mods on maps you've already created, doesn't have to be validated yet. But then, um, after, before clicking select map, hold the control key, then click select, and choose your time of day. And after that, if you held control, you will get this window. And you see the pink TM3 I've put into my mod folder is showing up. Let's choose that and hope it works. And there we are. Everything is pink, as it should be. <laughs> After applying the mod, you will have to um, recalculate shadows. And there's one more thing. If you now um, send this map to someone and they do not have the map, uh, the mod in the folder, in the mod folder, they will not see it. But there is a way around that, and that's probably the best way to do this. And that is to Again, click Control Select Map. And do not use these, but go to Select URL and put in the URL where you downloaded the mod from. Yeah, and then it will download in front of opening the map for everyone. So the colored curbs texture mods are by Banano TV, and you can find them here. And you have to put these links into the Select URL, then it will work. Great. Sometimes it will take some time to load, by the way. Um, and if you press escape while playing the map, it often is the case that it then shows up. If the loading took too long, because the mods can get pretty large. All right, that was it. Now on to making your own custom texture mods. Okay, now let's get into the juicy bit, creating your own texture mods. And it's not as hard as you might think because the textures are basically just images with a few extra steps. And the first thing you will need is the default textures and you can download them on this, play in, on this side as well. And I've already done so here, default textures. And they are zipped, of course, because uh, that's how you use them. But we need to unpack them to work with them. And to work with them, we need some software that can handle DDS files. That's the image um, format Trackmania is using. I think it stands for Direct Draw Surface. So the easiest would be paint.net. Go to getpaint.net slash download. There's a paid version um, that doesn't really include anything more than the free version. So I recommend this free version for now. You can read up on that later. But um, if you already have some skills in GIMP or Photoshop, that will totally work. Um, for GIMP, there is a DDS plugin. I've tried it and it works just as well. But to keep this simple, let's go with paint.net. Okay, I unzipped the default textures. There's another file image that always has to be there. More on that in a second. And here you can see we already have some previews for all the textures there are. And I will, for an example, open the ice textures. Okay, and to make this more fun, uh, I found this great picture by Riolo, who is 
and an ice lover so would be very fitting to put him on the texture uh, maybe like this okay i've created the perfect texture for ice with ice loving riolo on it now we go to save as and we need to save it in a specific way as dds of course into this image we want to overwrite it and here there are some options and it has to be dxt5 don't ask me what that means but that's what it needs to be and also generate the mip maps press ok should be saved now into the default textures which i've overwrote now there it is okay so now we need to uh, only put the image folder into a new zip file not rar it needs to be zip and let's call it Riolu Ice. Okay. Okay, I just checked. We actually do have to restart the game. Now Rilu Ice is showing up. Let's see if the texture was applied. <laughs> I can already see it. Perfect. Perfect ice texture. That's all the basics you need to create a texture mod. Now you just need to be good at making good textures. And since you probably want to share your map, you will have to host the texture mod somewhere. But before we get there, one optimization you can see here. Okay, it's very small, but um, my Riolo ice uh, texture is 500 megabytes and this pink tm is only 13 megabytes and that is because let's have a look into the pink tm it only includes the textures that changed so you can throw everything that stayed the same out of there and that's very important because they will have to be downloaded uh, before your map so you should aim for it to be as small as possible then you can host it anywhere where people can download it basically so there's dropbox google drive your own web hosting space something like that but those links might change in the future and if you want to go really future proof there is a community project called mania cdn where you can upload your content and then you get a link which you can paste into the select url uh, field and also if you have a server Think about helping this project out or donating. Always check the pinned comment on my tutorial videos if I've made any mistakes or there are some additions, you will find them there. Thanks again for uh, to Ibo and this post by Brainshaker from 2009, which still applied to today's texture modding. Um, that was all for today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and see you next time. Goodbye.